they want to see you. They only really want to see me. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so I have put my phone on airplane mode. Anybody need to adjust their phones before we get started? <laughs> you know, my when my uh, stepdaughter was married a few years ago, as it was a beautiful location, and as the the, the pastor, whoever he was, was uh, saying the, the words of the ceremony, his phone rang. And without skipping a beat, he pulled out his phone, and he looked at it, and and put it back in, and then continued, and then five minutes later, it rang again. And he did the same thing. He pulled it out, and he looked at it, and he wanted to say, okay, milk and bread, I'll get it. You know, whatever it was, it was whatever the message was. So everybody's phone's off, right? Yeah. Okay, well, good morning, and welcome to Stary, Stary. That's a nice little yeah. thing, yeah. right? how about that? <laughs> to Steve and Terry's nuptial ceremony. Everyone looks terrific, and uh, it's a happy, exciting day. So I'm Madeline Rohair, I'm mayor of the city of Knoxville, and it is really my honor to be officiating at this wedding today. One of the wonderful things about a wedding is that it also serves as a multi-family celebration. And it's always great to see and learn how far many people come, how far they're willing to travel to be present at a special event like this. Which just goes to show how important it is to mark these happy transitions in our lives. So I understand we have family here from Connecticut. You're from Connecticut? Bill, oh, you came from Connecticut as well. And Puerto Rico? Wow. And friends from Nashville, Nashville friends, and of course, Ross Knox County. So regardless of the wonderful and caring relationship that Steve and Terry have shared for the last 49 years, today that relationship changes for the better, okay, <laughs> for the better. And 49 years, do, do, are, you, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure about the relationship? <laughs> oh, are we sure? About it? Yeah, we think it's going to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave it a good shot to make sure. <laughs> it's wonderful. So all of us know it will grow and become stronger, in addition to being legally and publicly recognized and sanctioned today. One of the great universals in life, uh, across all boundaries and throughout the world, is love. We see it in families, and we see it among friends. And from the time we are small, small, small children in our mother's arms, we are taught to value love in others, at first for the benefit it brings us, but later just for its own sake. Today, the world is invited to celebrate a love between two people, the love that binds them together and makes them one. May all who see them see love and be warmed by its light. So Terry and Steve have asked me to read two short passages on the subject of love. The first is an excerpt from To My Friend, a poem by Roy Croft. I love you not only for what you are, but for what I am when I'm with you. I love you not only for what you have made of yourself, but for what you are making of me. I love you because you have done more than any creed could have done to make me good and more than any fate could have done to make me happy. You have done it without a touch, without a word, without a sign. You have done it by being yourself. And now this from the New Testament. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs, but rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes. Love never gives up. So now we are coming to your vows. You please turn and hold hands of looking at each other. Steve, you have chosen Terry to be your husband to live together as friend and life partner. Will you love and respect him as an equal, sharing all things, joy as well as sorrow, triumph as well as defeat? Will you be honest with him always, serving
serving each other and your fellow humanity. Will you stand by him steadfastly to comfort and encourage him through whatever may come as long as you both shall live? I will. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now you get to. That was his first. <laughs> Don't be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, you have chosen Steve to be your husband to live together as friend and life partner. Will you love and respect him as an equal, sharing all things, joy as well as sorrow, triumph as well as defeat? Will you be honest with him always, serving each other and your fellow humanity? Will you stand by him steadfastly to comfort and encourage him through whatever may come, as long as you both shall live? I will. So now, in the spirit of joy and affirmation, I want to ask those assembled here, if you guys are part of this vow as well, <laughs> do you, the family and friends of Steve and Terry, give them your blessing and support this day, wishing them a wonderful life together? I do. It's great to have family and friends. Huh? Thank support. you for saying yes. <laughs> Well, now that you've shown over 49 years, then it's like, okay. Okay, now we would need to exchange the rings. So now uh, Terry's ring is going to Steve. Where's that mean? Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. Okay. Oops. So do you know it by heart? Are you saying no, it? Or do you want to say it? You're going to read it. I'm going to read it. Okay. That's all right. I was going to say I can, I can prompt you. But okay. Terry, our miracle lies in the path we have chosen together. I give you this ring that you may wear it as a symbol of the vows we may have made this day. I pledge my, you my love and respect, my laughter and tears. With all that I am, I offer you. Okay. <laughs> you? Steve, love has been good to us enhancing and comforting all our days. I give you this ring that you may wear it as a symbol of the vows we have made this day. I pledge you my love and respect, my laughter and my tears, with all that I am, I honor you. <laughs> Terry and Steve, we have heard your promise to share your lives in marriage. We recognize and respect the covenant that you have made here this day before all of us as witnesses. Therefore, by the power vested in me by the state of Tennessee and by the Supreme Court of the United States, I now declare you married partners for life. You may kiss. <laughs> sign, but I want to say it is my personal privilege and great joy to be the first to introduce Steve and Terry as the newly married couple. And we will do the official signing of the papers.